A four-year-old girl is alive and recovering tonight because of the efforts of this staff at the Medical University of South Carolina's Children's Hospital. Excuse me. And her parents are singing their praises. News News' Colby Thielen joins us from MUSC with the amazing story you'll see only on two. Hey, good evening. It's been nearly a week since four-year-old Annie Nichols was brought here. She was suffering from a serious brain injury capable of taking her life. But what happened next would prevent that. It's something doctors describe as throwing a no-hitter the last game of the World Series. It's something her dad describes as simply a miracle. It was the scariest and most unexpected moment of Billy Nichols' life seeing his joyful, spunky four-year-old daughter struggle for hers. You didn't, you didn't know what to do. You just kind of went numb. It all started on Saturday night when Annie slipped on wet concrete, falling and hitting her head. At first, she appeared to be okay, even getting up and moving around. 45 minutes, an hour later, um, we went back inside and um, then just started screaming that her head was hurting. They rushed her to the Waccamaw Community Hospital in Merle Zinlet, where a CAT scan revealed a blood clot pressing on her brain. She immediately came out and said, this is, this is big, you know, we're going to airlift her to MUSC, which is just, it, it was surreal. Nichols says they turned to prayer as they waited for the helicopter to arrive. They'd had another call that night and it got canceled. There was also a really bad storm coming from Florence that the pilot was worried about. He pointed over and you could still see it in the distance and he said, it's just kind of stalled over there. And all those were signs from God for us. When Annie arrived here for surgery, doctors say that she was in a comatose state or in critical condition, fading fast, and time was of the essence. She was knocking on death's door. Dr. Stephen Calhorn received the call at home. When he arrived, the OR was open. His team prepped and ready to go. From the time that she hit the door, we whisked her up through the elevator to the operating room. And I'd say within 15 minutes, we had the epidural blood clot out of her head and she was safe. His eyes fill with tears as he talks about the efforts of the hospital staff. We're one of the most impressive concerted efforts to help an individual patient I've ever seen. It's why we do what we do. Um, it's what we're called to do. As Annie recovers, her dad wears her favorite necklace around his wrist, waiting for the moment she's able to ask for it. Every day is an improvement, so we thank God for that. My prayer has been that we get our Annie back. The next stop for Nichols is a children's hospital in Charlotte where she'll undergo rehab, and her parents believe it'll be no time at all before they have their spunky Annie back to normal. Reporting in downtown Charleston, Colby Thielen, News 2.